Hey, Richard here. I, I you know, I, I'm walking on the trail here, or coming to the end of it almost, and I was thinking I wanted to give a bit of a plug to get. Uh, I posted a video uh, uh, discussion uh, between um, uh, Brianna Clay, I think it is. She's got a, tr a triple name, but I think it's B Brianna Clay. She was Bernie Sanders' campaign manager, and uh, Norman Finkelstein, who's very well. I didn't know anything about her really. Uh, it was, it was. She's got a podcast, and I'm, I've subscribed to it. it. She's really, it was really good. And Finkelstein, of course, I've read a couple of his books, the Holocaust industry being one of them. He's, he's quite an interesting character. But they would, it's, it's, it's about his latest book, not entirely. It's about the politics of the, er, of the era too, and that his books about that, about identity politics and the uh, reactionary nature of identity politics. Uh, anti-class nature, anti-working class nature of it. And one of the things they brought up was um, the um, the removal of Ilhan Omar, for example, from um, the Foreign Affairs Committee. And I don't know if you saw it, I saw it, uh, uh, Alexandra Cortez's, uh, Ocasio-Cortez's rant in the Congress about this, where she had an opportunity, uh, and the squad had an opportunity to really go after them on a class basis and a political basis. And what does she, she gets up saying, this is part of the war against women of color. She was not removed because of her color. She was removed because of her politics, Ilhan Omar. This is the damage that identity politics does. And shame on uh, Ocasio-Cortez. She was removed because of her politics. And in my view, it's, a, it's an insult to her to claim she was removed for her color as opposed to her politics. Uh, 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 and uh, she, not only is she a, a, a strong left winger, uh, but also in the Democratic Party, her, her criticism and stance on American foreign policy is of extreme concern to them. And uh, that her that her position there is based, I would say, argue on her religion and on her um, on her um, nationality. She's Somali, you know, and, and a Muslim. So this, this, this identity, that was just one example of where an opportunity uh, uh, to, to take a class position. That shows you how worthless the squad is, to be honest with you. And of course, the Democratic Party is. I'm not talking about people that vote for it. I've got friends that vote for it. They, most, most of them hold their noses and do it. But this, I, I'm, I've just bought uh, his book. And if you can go, if you go to the blog, it's the second one down now. Well, no, it's the first one, I think. But, um, you know, I posted it to the blog. If you could watch it through the blog and I wrote some comments underneath and I shared it on Facebook. But it's definitely a good interview and a good discussion. It was refreshing. You know, he makes it very clear uh, that, uh, that you know, the, the big banks and CNN and, uh, and MSNBC and Fox, they don't care about pronouns. They care about bank accounts. That's right, and that's the, and most workers are on board with them on that. So anyway, it's it's just want to give a bit of a plug for that. I just want to add that this doesn't mean that there are plenty of the uh, the people that voted to move her because of her politics aren't racist and misogynist uh, and 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 Islamophobes. They are, but that's not why she was removed.